I took this uh, telephone magneto apart, cleaned it all up. Now I'm going to put it all back together and uh, see if it works. First of all, to test this armature, if it's uh, if the wires are all good, you just have to test these points here for resistance. If there's some resistance in the wire, well then you know the wire is not broken. And then if it's uh, shorted out to ground, well then maybe it won't work. But this one here, I tested it and it seems to be okay. I had uh, this part apart where the armature fits in. Now I'm starting to put it all back together. What you have to get is a little bit of this uh, dielectric grease. Uh, if you use ordinary grease or oil, it uh, might not work. It might short the uh, thing out and it might not work this way. This is, uh, this is made for electrical components. put a little on this shaft Since we have this armature in, all good. I put this shaft in at the same time. Now we put this gear in, but this little collar has to go behind it because that kind of holes there. I put a little grease on there already. And this collar goes on and it's kind of just to hold it there. And this thing fits inside. I think we can put this gear on. Only fits in one kind of one position here. So you have to make make sure it fits there. Like that. And then there's this tiny little screw that fits in there. And this gear at the bottom here has a little bit of a, a spring in it, so it's got a little give. That's the way it's supposed to be, I guess. And then you tighten this collar up against here. And this tight...
Then over here you put this spring in, there's a little spring in there, and screw this collar in. And that holds the shaft in. Now this is how it works. When you turn the handle here, it turns that it turns this thing a little ways. Turn the handle, it moves this out, makes contact with the points here, and once you keep turning, then it turns the generator. I don't have a handle for it, so it's kind of hard to turn it like this, but that's how it works. Now I guess we'll put all the magnets on. Now these magnets have of course a north and a south, so you got to make sure that you put them all the same. And these are marked. These are marked anyway, so as long as you put them all the same, it should be okay. I think they have to fit fairly tight in there. Now, this plate fits on here, but I have to move them over so that I can screw this in. So they got to be a little space in between them. There, I think I got them more or less uh, evenly spaced here. I guess it doesn't have to be perfect. Just so I can get these screws in between. Plate in place and it kind of it kind of holds the magnet in once you tighten them. And it's got that Now I have to build a crank for it. And I just have to put these points back on. And that's all. And there I got the points back in. So this is what happens. So when the crank is turned here, makes contact with these points contacts those points and makes a contact there and then once you keep turning when when I make a crank for it I'll test it out and see how it works it's a Stromberg Carlson telephone manufacturing company well I don't uh, have a crank for this but I'm just going to try it out like this put that magneto in this old phone.